All right, guys, today we're just going to do a really quick tutorial on um, the starter pawl, which is also called the, the ratchet. Um, if you're not sure of the other term, you might call it the uh, pull start tabs. Uh, these are the little tabs that actually retract and spin your motor when you pull that pull start. And maybe your pull start had broken, you took it apart, and these little tabs came falling out, and you're not sure how they go back in. This is just a quick tutorial to show you uh, the proper way to put those back in. So this here, we have a Powermate edger. The uh, pull start's already off. It just consists of three bolts here that you would take off and remove it. Now, again, this is not a tutorial on how to recoil this. Um, we will do one on that. But this is, if these little tabs happen to fall out on you, um, or if you hear clanking around in your pull start, this is probably what fell out. Now, the way that these go back in, well, actually the way they operate is when you pull that pull start, these will retract out and they will grab right here, okay? And there will be one on each side. So one will come out of this side, one will come out of this side, and they will spin this, which actually in return spins your motor. So if you're pulling and the motor's not spinning, chances are you need a starter paw kit, or a starter ratchet kit. So what you need, you're gonna need, I already took this one off, and you wanna be careful if this is not broken already, um, and your cord is still wrapped there, be careful that you don't unwind this. All right, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter ratchet to take this off here. And you wanna be really careful because there is little springs underneath. All right, if those springs are missing, these aren't gonna work. You need those springs to be in there. Now basically those springs will just pull out of that groove and you set them in. Now if you look, let me turn the light on here. I already have those springs in there. All right, but you can see how that spring sets. Now that part of the spring is pushed against this wall and then you're gonna have this tab which is sticking up on that spring there. Okay, now it's very important that these go in the right way. All right, so this is going to slide down in that groove, but it's gotta go behind that spring. So when this pulls, you can see it's gonna retract right into that groove. And this spring here, the reason it goes behind that is so we can push it back into place. All right, you wanna make sure that that's tight up against there. And we'll go to the other side here. And we want this one to come out this way. So, it's hard to do with one hand. We gotta pull that spring out there, get it behind it. Okay, sorry, had to use my other finger there. But you can see I got it on this side of the tab. All right, and just push it down on top of that spring. See how it's pushing on the spring? You should be able to push on these and they should be a little springy, okay? If they're not, your spring is not seated right in there, take this out, get a really fine screwdriver and make sure that that spring is seated in there properly, okay? And these springs on the back should be pressed really, really firmly against that metal. They shouldn't be out here, they should be against the metal because they need to push that back into place, but that's how they rest in there. Now you wanna take this piece Make sure you got your spring on the bottom. If that's missing, it's not gonna work. You'll have to order a kit. And you wanna line that bolt up, which I'm not gonna be able to do with one hand here, but you wanna put pressure on this as you tighten this bolt. Now don't go cranking it way too tight. And it should go in fairly easy. You don't wanna cross thread it. Now you can see when you pull that, See them retract out? See it right there? And the one on the bottom? They will retract out into those. And that's what grips are to your motor to spin. If these aren't retracting out, you're just pulling and the motor's not spinning. All right? Hopefully this tutorial helps somebody out there with their pull start problems. And please guys, hit subscribe below. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I do videos daily. Give me a like and uh, I'll see you next time.